welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to start up in Autoland this Boeing 777. First, you can click here to auto start your plane right here. Or, you can do it the real way on the overhead panel. On the overhead panel, it's pretty easy. Okay, I'm just going to get up to the overhead panel. Click battery. APU, move it to start, it'll go back to on by itself, look, I didn't touch anything, it went back to on, then you click all these window heats, click over up here, ADIRU, it's for aiders, then you click all of these hydraulics, and you put these knobs to auto with your scroll wheel, you, um, you open this, you move the emergency lights to armed, there just in case of an emergency you move no smoking to auto and seat belts to on um left and left pumps have to be turned on and right pumps too these one these middle ones should um don't turn them on because then they'll be low on fuel and then you'll have to get back fuel it's hard then you turn on landing lights and strobe lights um then see here it says start engine ignition I'm gonna move both of them to start they're not gonna start up fully or they're not gonna produce any power until we click these two levers to give the engines fuel so you can see it's giving the engines fuel while that's happening you can set some flaps here set the flaps to 15 go to Autopilot, Route Manager, put in all of your numbers he over here, I'm putting in everything that I need, on default and star, look, if you click star none, it won't do anything, but if you click approach and then default again, you know it's already there, a lot, a lot of things, then SID, you put default, and then a lot more things will appear, then you, um, you delete this little, um, th that number, let me put it back, 13L. You delete this number and then you put your cruising altitude and then here you put your cruising speed. So after you do that, you click activate, then you close it, then you go and you click here on auto throttle arm, flight director, move this to this um, to 250. Make sure to stay below 250 knots if you're below 10,000 feet. Once you reach 10,000 feet or more, you can go over 250 knots. Then I select this to 357, but you don't have to. You select it to your runway heading. Set this to 2,000. There, 2,000. Then I click L nav here. Then. I go to equipment map and then equipment radio settings. I click data and because I'm landing at runway 35C over here, um, you can see right runway 35C. I need to get data um, from that runway. So it says here um, IPKQ, KDFW, which is Dallas International, runway 35C, ILS, CAT 3. Has to be at least cat one, two, or three. That that's why I entered that number there. At heading select. Then you put in your number here to nav one. I delete that number. I'm gonna put in my number. After you put that in, you click here to switch it. It'll turn light blue. And then nav two, you just click it because there's another frequency that w that was there for ILS, but it's from a different airport. Then you can close your map and your radio stack. Then after this, you can go to environment, weather, and up down here to Matar description. And you go here. It says pressure. Um, stay. Make sure it says inches down here by moving this little knob to inches. And then you move the one that's bigger to the number layer, which is 30.36. Use the knob to get aligned there. All this will do is show your correct altitude by measuring the air pressure. That's correct. 
then because my engines are already turned on I can just go up to my overhead panel and turn on my um, I mean turn off my APU you can turn off APU generator I mean you can turn everything here just keep it on just in case you need it and then here select um, up but make sure it only says like 1,500 feet per minute just so you don't have any emergencies in midair and now you're ready make sure that your auto um, that your parking brake so there my parking brakes on so I turn it off I go full power and then when you hear V1 you go up um, when you hear V1 you wait at the ground and when you hear rotate you go up to this line right here but if that line's too far um but if you want to go a little bit faster you can go to 15 degrees so here i'm taking off right now Pilot on. Auto throttle should be turning on soon. Look, I turned it on. Then you um, get your flaps retracted. And then um, you're ready. You click FLCH. This is flight level change mode. This will get your plane to your set altitude. But if you ever change it, click it again and it'll start um, descending or ascending to where you have to go. You can see it's almost at 2,000. There. I'm going to speed up time by pressing A two times. You can see that's going a lot faster. And you can see that the plane's working properly. Just wait. Here you can see the view because I sped it I'll slow down time again. So you can see the plane. You can see here that I still left the lights on. Um I can I have to turn off the lights by clicking here on landing. Keep the strip lights on. And then here it's all okay. You can see that the plane's turning for every single waypoint in here. It passes. Make sure it says LMAP or the plane won't follow them. I'm going to speed up time again. There, it's almost at the next waypoint. At departure 4, the departure 5 waypoint. Then it's at now going to approach 4. Then once you're aligned with your runway, you can click the LOC button over here so here you can see I'm coming in and it's almost about to turn um, this part is done automatically by the computer but the next part you have to do by yourself which is here you see where um, the runway is r right in front of us over there Look, I'll slow time down again. You can see that the that the runway is um, over there. You can barely see it. Let me turn up visibility. There, you can see it a little better now. I'll lower your visibility down again. So now. What I'll do here is I'll click LOC. The plane will follow that pink diamond. This will make sure that the plane is aligned with the runway. Then I'll start slowing down to 200 knots right now. There, 200 knots. 
Then I'll wait. Once you see that this pink diamond isn't only an outline and it becomes full, you can click here on approach. This means that the plane is ready for landing by itself. Here. Okay, I'm almost there, so I can start getting some flaps. I mean, no flaps yet. You see that there are like little markers there. That recommends what speed you should um when you should start doing that. So I'm just gonna lower it to one my speed to 132. It's going well below the limits, but trust me. Once you get the flaps, it'll be a lot better. So there. Once you reach below 180 knots, you um you get flaps to full. There. It's full. So then I, I turn flaps to full. Then I can click here on approach because the pink time is right there. Once you see LOC and GS and these two green boxes, your the plane should be ready. So then I'm gonna lower landing gear. Get auto brake set to two down here. Make sure it says two. Then you get speed brakes armed. And then you turn your landing lights on. There. The plane's now completely ready for landing. Here. The plane is now getting aligned with the runway. And on the glide slope. Glide slope, what it is, is where the plane has to go down. This is what pilots normally use for landing it just helps them land so and here it says land three that confir that's confirming that the plane can land and then when you see it says spd loc gs roll out and flare that's confirming that the plane can do every single step of the auto land um here you can hear you can hear the plane saying approaching the three five center Make sure it's auto break two, no more than two, or if not, it'll overheat. I'll show you the inside view and then the outside view. So here is the auto land. Then you hear that the plane touches down. Use your rudder while the plane is deploying everything. So then all you have to do is use your rudder to keep the plane aligned. All the pilots still turn on. So then once you get it aligned, you can just let go of all the controls. You can see that the plane is coming to a stop. So now for the outside view. So now here's the full auto land outside of the cockpit.
thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.